Hello, welcome to Fountain FX on Thursday the 20th of February 2014. Um, yesterday we were talking about the news of George Soros wanting to short the S&P 500 and talked about correlation between those fundamentals in the S&P 500 and how it can impact the Euro US dollar. And if we look here, um, previously I was saying where price was, it was coming in too close to this area of resistance and maybe now is not the right time to be looking to place a buy order but to wait and see what happens, especially with this news that uh, George Soros is going to be selling the S&P uh, which means stocks should be looking to fall. If we have a quick look at the S&P you can see exactly what's happened over there. Hello, so we've got a chart from Bloomberg and uh, this is the S&P 500 and we can see that it reached a high yesterday at around the 1847 mark from which it's just fallen, it, it couldn't reach, there's made another high there and a lower high there and it's continued to fall so it's showing it's very much now in a downtrend there doesn't seem to be any upwards momentum at the moment when it when it came down here tried to push back up from this area here around about the midday mark tried to push back up could only create a, a lower high to be turned and, and push down lower from there so the S&P 500 from being at an all-time high is now showing a downwards trend it may only be short term but at the moment it's downward so let's go and see how that's impacted the euro US dollar so we've now gone into the euro US dollar looking at a 30 minute chart so it's a comparable time frame to that of the S&P 500 chart that we saw and this is really the pattern that we've seen if you, see, if you look at that if we then go back to the uh, S&P 500 we can see that it reached a high pulled down, couldn't take the high out again, pulled down lower, pulled back, trying to challenge the high again and then promptly fell. So if we go and look at that again on the Euro US dollar, you can see how that's translated. It created a high, pulled down from there, couldn't get back up to the high, pushed down further, pulled back, trying to re-establish the high with some momentum, didn't make it and then just fell away. And today what's happened is because of that fall from yesterday evening in the euro US dollar we can look at today it's provided at the European Open it's provided a great opportunity to short as prices come back into that level where it's fallen away quite significantly from so to have taken a short at the 137.60 would have banked you nice 60 points worth of profit as price just fell off a cliff and that's simply often the way in which it works is that you get major news that comes out if prices are at a significant high or a significant low and there's also major news coming out to add to the emotion of the market you can start to take advantage of it so yesterday we were looking at price pushing up towards the 138 as being a critical area of resistance it hasn't quite made it got as far as the 137.70 as you can see and it's literally turned and rolled over and uh, so this morning by going into a smaller time frame you could have looked at a nice short of this area here of resistance where price fell lower from a previous low and when it finally got back up to it great opportunity to put in a sell order and a sell order there with a stop just above it so only a 10 point stop would have banked you a 60 point return great order and a great trade so anyway that's it from Fountain FX. Thank you very much. Um, Mandela has been in contact with me with regards to wanting to know about brokers and setting up brokers. So over the next week, we're going to cover that in detail. And uh, happy trading from Fountain FX.